Hi, my name's Greg Newman and I'm one of the co-founders at Landman Solar. Customers often ask us what's involved in the process of installing a solar PV array and battery storage. So we thought whilst we're having some panels put on my house, it'd be a good idea to show every phase of the installation to explain just what's involved. First up, we have the scaffolding put up to ensure a safe and efficient working environment. This usually only takes an hour or two to assemble. Then the Landman Solar team arrive to start the installation work. Although we will have already completed an on-site survey, now we have the scaffolding up, we then undertake a final measurement of the roof and mark up where the hooks, rails and finally panels will be placed. We lift the tiles to access the rafters, screw in the hooks and replace the tiles. We then attach the rails to the hooks to give us a strong and sturdy frame for us to attach the panels to. The next step is then to add the necessary wiring along the rails so we can simply plug these into the panels a little later on. Then it's time for the panels themselves. We're putting 16 panels on this roof, so the rails have all been cut to measure and the team just need to attach these and plug in the wiring. The wire is then fed through the roof and down to where the inverter and battery will be installed. That pretty much concludes the outside work for the install. So we'll head into the loft area where Pietro, my business partner, will undertake the electrical work for the install. Once again, as we do an on-site survey, Pietro already knows the dimensions we're working to and the area has been cleared. So it's just a matter of attaching the inverter and batteries to the wall and wiring it all as required. The system is then connected to the fuse board and the final step is to turn it all on and then set up the monitoring and that's pretty much it. So if you think Lamb and Solar could help your home or your business, then please get in touch for a free quote and site survey.